Okay, good morning, and today I'm going to be showing you what I expect for our writing this week. Um, it'll be very similar to last week, but we're just going to be focusing on persuasive this week, um, as you would have seen by the introduction video. Uh, so let's have a look how I would like it done on DB. So you need to go into your tasks, and you need to find your week three writing. So here it is, writing week three. Uh, so I'll click on that. Now, obviously, there's an introductory video of what we're doing and why we're doing it, but I haven't made that yet, so this is what we're doing. So the very first day, uh, you need to just copy and paste uh, this here, okay, like we have been for a few other things. So we copy uh, that uh, and make sure you're getting the colours um, down later. Doesn't matter what colours you use down here, but make sure you get them. Okay, now these colours are for a reason because in the blue is my opinion, in the red is my reason, and in the uh, pinky purple is my evidence. Okay, so we have to understand which one's which. So that's the whole point of this week's task to sort of focus on that. So whatever colours you do, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so I'm going to highlight my opinion and make that a different colour. I'll stick with the same colours I've got at the top. So there you've copy and pasted and then you've identified your actual uh, opinion of what you believe. Now you've got to look at the uh, reason. So the reason is it is like a job. So that's the reason I'm uh, one of the reasons I'm using. And the evidence is that in adult life, when you do a job for someone, you get paid. So that's the evidence that we need to look at uh, for when we're doing it. So that is the first part of your task done. The second part of your task that you need to do is we have been working on improving uh, the, the sentences in stories, okay? We're working this week on improving our opinion and our reason. So we're working on a little bit of editing and trying to add a little bit of awesomeness into our persuasive. So every day uh, I will give you an opinion and a reason. I'll identify, if you do your work, you'll get a different opinion and reason every day. Your job, then is to make it better uh, by creating and adding adding things, but not losing the meaning. So it still has to have the same meaning. Now, the last two days on Thursday and Friday, if you do your work every day, um, you're actually going to start creating your own. And you're going to look at, you're going to be the one identifying the opinions, the reasons, and the evidence. But for the first three days, I'm going to be identifying the opinions, reasons, and evidence for you, and you're just going to be making it better. By the end of the week, hopefully you're, you're understanding that. And then on Thursday and Friday, you're going to create your own, okay? So I've got this done. Now I need to do my own. So what I need to do is I need to go down here and you need to rewrite. Uh, better get that in there. Uh, better get that back into black. Okay, opinion. And reason. Okay. Now, in every reason, you always need to restate your opinion. Okay. So I've already done this on a Word document, so I'm just going to copy and paste it. Save me typing it. Uh, so here is my opinion, which I've changed. I'm going to go back to my document, and I'm going to copy and paste it. Okay, so instead of I believe that every child should get $5 a day for completing their homework, I have changed it to, it is extremely important that all mini adults receive $5 for completing a task at home. It's pretty much the same thing, but just differently, okay? And now I need to do my reasons. So once again, I've already done this and made it better. Uh, there it is. So. Once again, 
Each individual student should get paid $5 for doing their homework. So I'm restating my opinion again. Then the reason is that the extra burden placed on them requires payment. So that's the reason. They've, they've got to do something extra, so they need to be paid. And the example is that it's similar to a job that a tradesperson would do. And we pay the tradesperson for their time. Why not the students for theirs? Okay. So I need to highlight this in the colour. So this is my opinion. So I keep this in the uh, in the blue like I have been. Then in my restated in my restated opinion, I'll do that blue as well. You can do it in any colour that you would like. Then I highlight my reason in the same colour as I did at the top. So my reason is in red. So I need to keep my reason here in red. And then my evidence, I highlight because I've got I've got that in like a purpley colour, so I keep that in the purpley colour. Okay, and that is my writing task done. Okay, so first day you copy and paste this. From the second day onwards, it will be on your sheet already. Okay, then you need to rewrite an opinion, making it better, keeping the same colours. Then you need to rewrite your reasons, making it better. Okay, um, and then you click save, and then you don't send to me uh, until the end of the week. But as I said, we'll be doing this every day. First three days that you do your task, I will create the reason, opinion, and reason for you. Then the second, uh, then the last two days. You're the one that's going to be creating your own opinion and reason and seeing if you can identify it for yourself um, in how you do it. So that's what we're doing because uh, we're starting to work on some persuasive. So hopefully you have a good week of writing.